Well, there's still no um, information about these reprisal attacks that may be taking place in Kaduna. Uh, the Nigerian police, the military, and the Nigerian Emergency Management Authority are not commenting um, on this, but what they are commenting on is the scale of the uh, attack on the church. Now, what we know, speaking to emergency uh, services in the area, is that it, the, the death toll is now at eight and close to 100 people injured. That comes from the National Emergency Emergency Management Authority. We've also managed to speak to local hospital workers over the telephone who basically tell us they are treating uh, people who have been brought to the hospital who have been injured um, in the aftermath of that attack. And also the police in the state basically are now urging uh, locals um, to basically remain inside. There is a fear, there is a concern that because of what's happened, uh, there could be some kind of further or consequential violence. Yvonne, there have been three churches attacked in the state of Kaduna, three churches attacked in June. Are we seeing an escalation in these attacks against churches? And if so, why? Well, strangely, on the contrary, the Nigerian military and police and other security agencies will say that there's been a, a major de-escalation um, in this kind of violence over the last few months. That was June. Uh, we're now approaching November. It's been fairly quiet in terms of the scale of attacks on churches by the group Boko Haram. Now, in this case, uh, we don't know for sure that Boko Haram are behind this attack. That's the group who want a strict form of Islamic law instituted across Nigeria. They've not gained responsibility for this, but naturally you can imagine people do feel they must be behind this given the kind of attacks we've seen before. So the authorities feel like they've got a grip on the situation and um, so obviously this attack today um, perhaps will raise questions about their ability to really safeguard um, the lives of those people attending church on Sunday like we've seen today.